Welcome back to Inside Africa. Spend any amount of time in rural Zambia and you'll see them everywhere. Bicycles. Simple machines, yes, but in Zambia, their importance extends well beyond simple transportation. From the early morning light, she's the picture of perpetual motion. By 6 a.m., Fusa Walwindo is already in the midst of a long list of chores. I wake up and sweep the yard and clean the plates, the 15-year-old tells us. Then I make the breakfast, then I go to school. <laughs> this is rural Zambia, and the days here come with few conveniences. But for Fusa, there's one very important possession, so important she keeps it hidden away inside her home. A bicycle that she uses to make the two-kilometer journey to school. Fusa! Or on the rare occasion, like today, simply for a ride with her best friend Stella. But here, bikes are hardly just for recreation. Bicycles in Africa, especially part of Zambia here in Chongwe, they are, they are more valuable than a vehicle, than a motor vehicle. They use them for transport to the hospital, to the clinics, and to the school. Teachers at Fustar School know firsthand the power of two wheels. When we came to this school, uh, the enrollment was 300. Now, when the, when the old bicycle relief came with bicycles, uh, even the girls who had left school, just because when they had that bicycle that come, they came back to school. Enrollment now stands at 867 pupils. Not all have bikes, but for those who do, they give the eight teachers here the incentive they need to keep their students in school. To a Zambian child, a rural child, to have a bicycle, it really motivates because it is going to ease her movement to and from school. And this is what is, has happened to Fusta. She can easily come to school, go back home, have lunch, come back at 14 hours, and then get back home in good time. We've supplied over 30,000 bicycles into Zambia to date. World Bicycle Relief is an organization that in its own small way is transforming Zambia's countryside. From its facilities in Lusaka, Head of Africa Operations David Niswanda oversees the assembly and distribution of bikes to students like Fuster. You know, it's connecting people with education, it's connecting people with health care, it's connecting people with their own economic development. All it is is a tool. It's a tool to help themselves. When the organization started here in 2006, its mission was simple enough. But building a bike strong enough to handle the demands didn't come without its own unique set of challenges. Our bicycle has been used to uh, withstand the difficult terrain of, of Africa and really built for Africa. If you look at this rack, this rack can hold over 100 kg on the back of it. That's ideal if you're putting a big sack of produce that you're taking to the marketplace or if you need to take a sick child or a neighbor to the clinic. This rack is specially built to carry those large loads. Additionally, we have thick gauge steel throughout the entire thing, so it's very he heavy. We call it 55 pounds of love because there's a, a good amount of weight in this, but it's basically built as a tank. Today, it's impossible not to spot one of their black bikes on the dusty stretches of road. They become prized possessions, easing long days filled with responsibilities and on occasion, providing a few moments of simple fun. World Bicycle Relief says it plans to deliver 50,000 bicycles to Zambian students over the next five years as part of their education initiative.